Whoa, this one is stout. What is up guys, it is Jegster back again. If you don't know who I am, I am Jegster and what you can find on this channel is challenges, adventure vlogs, and just random things mashed together. Sometimes I just like to mix up some crazy stuff in the kitchen with the food or the drinks or in today's video, we're gonna be trying Coca-Cola coffee. I'm not really a fan of Coca-Cola. Just gotta be honest there. But I am a fan of coffee. So first one we have is Coca-Cola vanilla. I, I'm not a fan of vanilla, not a fan of Coca-Cola, but I think it will be interesting to try. And yeah, it's gonna be definitely different. This one is called Coca-Cola coffee dark blend. This one I am excited to try. And dark blend, meaning this is gonna be pretty stout. All I can say is we're gonna be jacked up tonight. And I say tonight because it's currently 15 minutes till 10 p.m. That's right, I just got off work a little bit ago and I'm recording this video at almost 10 p.m. at night because I'm working during the day and I'm gonna have to do videos during the night. So yeah, it's just the way it is of a YouTuber. We're gonna try these out just to show you what I have here for you guys. I've got two cups so that we can actually do a test because I wanna see if they look different than regular Coke. You know, what if they come out pure black? What if they come out some weird color? I want to be able to see. So I got the clear glasses and these are fancy cubes. If you don't know what they are, they are like ice cubes, but they're in a plastic wrap so that you can continuously keep refreezing them. You just, after they're melted, you put them right back in the freezer. They freeze up again and you can just keep using them. These things are so nifty. So we got two clear glasses so that we can see what the coffee coke looks like what kind of color it is you know if there's any kind of texture for some reason i don't know why there would be but you know just so we can know for sure i hope you guys do enjoy this video if you do at any point in time please smash that like button because it's greatly appreciated and it'll tell the youtube algorithm that i'm trying to do something over here and that you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe right here because we are pushing up to 1500 subscribers and I'm super pumped about that. Thank you guys for all the love you guys have shown me on my last video with the Mr. Beast Finger on the App Challenge. Unfortunately, I did prepare for that challenge. I took off work. I went down to Georgia, you know, I hung out with my brother. I was there for about a week and then Mr. Beast just he was a no-show. I, I really don't like talking negative about Mr. Beast because he's like my YouTube idol. He's so freaking dope. There's nothing. He didn't hold the competition. There was no word about it. He has not given an update yet about it. Nobody knows what's going on. A lot of people took off work for this for like a week. So a lot of people suffered because Mr. Beast didn't go through with it. And I just, I just wish there was some kind of update or information so that we can know what really happened. If he just forgot about it or he postponed it or what. Mr. Beast, Jimmy, we really need to hear something about that. For your people, please don't just let this be swept under the rug. Let's not procrastinate anymore. First one we're going to try is going to be coffee, coke, vanilla, right? Pop this bad boy open. A little ASMR for you here. First thing I notice, it's super fizzy. Oh my gosh. It smells weird. It smells so weird. I can smell the coffee, but I can definitely smell the coke. So, all right, here we go. Let's see what it looks like. All right. So, wow. First thing I notice is that it doesn't seem to be as dark as normal coke. I don't know if you guys can tell here. Let's test it out. Cheers, boys. Got to get that good aroma first. You got. You never. You ever tasted wine? Smell wine? Root beer, if you've ever looked at cream soda root beer, it's got like an orangish, clearish tint to it. That is what this looks like. Whoa. What a weird taste. Oh my gosh. Okay. I've had vanilla Coke before. This does not taste like vanilla Coke. It's quite odd actually because like it does taste like Coke, but it very much so 
tastes like coffee and not the type of coffee that you'd think. Not an iced coffee, not a hot coffee. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I would not buy this again. I would not, definitely not drink this again. As I take another sip and say that. Not a fan of this one. Not a fan at all of this one. The vanilla coffee taste. You get that? You get, that's very distinctively different than vanilla Coke taste. But it just feels like you're drinking a Coke the whole time. So, boom. This one, I'm excited for it. This one, I believe, is going to give off a very, very rich coffee taste. And it is dark blend. So, you guys think it's probably going to be like black coffee or like a, a super like medium to dark roast, you know, type of coffee. I will say one thing, it's not what you think so far in these. It's more of like the whole coffee bean taste flavor has been added to Coke instead of like uh, mixing coffee and Coke together to get it. It's not, it's not what you think. ASMR time. Ooh, satisfying. Whoa! This one is stout. In fact, I almost can't even smell the Coke at all. It's like straight coffee. Let's see what it looks like. I bet you, I bet you this one's a lot darker. Wow, what do you think? It's actually light like the other one. I don't know if it's the coffee beans or what, but it looks lighter. Does it not? Does it not look lighter than regular Coke? Oh my gosh, it smells so strongly of coffee. It smells like a cup of Coke, but somebody dropped coffee beans directly in it. Just raw, uncrushed coffee beans. I bet you this is going to be so good. You guys ready? Let's try it out. That's not bad at all, actually. That is not bad. Like I said, not really a fan of Coke at all. Or soda in general, actually. I drink a lot of water. I'm a big fan of coffee, like I said. This gives off like the... It's very bold. Oh, this is pretty good. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is pretty good. Such a rich and stout, bold coffee flavor, but it doesn't overdo it. So like when you drink it, you're not thinking ugh, ugh, coffee beans and stuff. No, you get the little slight hint of Coke, but really it tastes more like coffee. It's so weird. It's, it, if anything, it's kind of like a, a carbonated dark roast, which is not appealing as it sounds. It sounds way less appealing than it actually is, but this, this is pretty good. I might buy this one one day again. I don't know. I probably wouldn't because it's Coke. I want to see if they do the same thing, but do it with Pepsi. Because if I'm going to drink soda, I prefer Pepsi. How much caffeine is actually in these? So like, is it just the coffee flavoring with the beans or is there actually more caffeine in here. So made with coffee, vanilla, flavored with other natural flavors. It's not actually coffee beans grounded up in here. It's just a flavoring. And in the ingredients, there's coffee powder. Okay. This one, coffee powder and coffee extract and caffeine. Okay. This one is probably more legit than the other one. Overall, I think that one's good. I would probably drink this one, not regularly, because soda's not good for you regularly, but, you know, here and there, I think I'd probably drink it. No, I take that back. I just can't stand Coke. I hate the way Coke makes your teeth feel. I just hate the taste it leaves in your mouth. Coke's just so bad to me. Guys, that brings me to my next topic. I want to become more connected with you guys, right? That being said, I'm going to start doing something new. Well, now it's not going to start this video, but it will be next video, but you will start with this video. And what I'm going to do is I want to start shouting out you guys. I want to start putting you guys on the map. Maybe you have a small YouTube channel and, you know, just a small shout out might help you. Maybe you just want to put your comment out there for everyone to see. Here's the deal. From now on, Starting with this next video, whoever is the first comment on my video before will then get a shout out to the next video. So, whoever comments first on this video right here will get a shout out in my next video. Think smart about what you want your comment to say because not only are you getting a shout out with your name, your comment will also be shout out. Put it in the comments, the first comment will be the one that gets shouted out and your comment will get shouted out from here on out. Every video, the previous video, I will have this shout out.
That being said, I want you guys to be in my videos more. I want to interact with you guys. I want to do some Q&As with you guys. I want to know what you guys want to see here. I want to know what you guys want to experience and how you want to be in my content. But the only way to do that is for you guys to go follow my Instagram. That's right. Go check out my Instagram. Follow my Instagram. Hit me up in the DMs. Conversate with me on my Instagram so that I can start interacting with you guys in my story. So, you know, because like I want to do some videos like where you guys make all of the decisions for my entire day. Now, that will be my story. So you want to watch my stories and keep up to date with those because those will be directly to you, basically. All my stories are going to be going out to you guys, the League of Jexers, the followers, supporters, because you guys all make all this worth it. And you guys are the reason why I do it. So go to my Instagram follow check out my content and watch the stories coming in the future because new video content is going to come directly from you guys and how you react with my stories and my comments and my behind the scenes stuff that i'll be putting on instagram so from now on i'm going to try to put video behind the scenes content on instagram before the actual video is released so you guys will be ahead of the game so I hope you guys have a blessed night. Thank you guys for checking this out. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe. Turn the bell on with notifications so you can be updated every time I come out with a new video, do a new challenge, do a new trip. I'm about to be coming out with some really weird content. I actually have some crazy challenges that are like on Mr. Beast level challenges. So you guys definitely want to stay updated for that. I mean, you ever seen someone cut down a tree with a butter knife? <laughs> Sneak peek little hint of some future content coming so stay tuned and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out and have a blessed night i love you all thank you all for all the support